I'm Cynthia Weitzel. This is my name sign. And I am an artist in multimedia. I'm also the coordinator of the DAR, the Deaf Artist Residency Program, here at the Anderson Center in Red Wing. Most of my work focuses on deaf life, deaf experience, deaf culture, because there is so little representation of deaf art or deaf culture in mainstream culture, it's a priority for me to focus on the deaf community and our experience and connecting with each other. And all of these things are centered around ASL, which is our shared language. But I like experimenting. I like non-traditional materials. I like to take those materials and give them new life and new meaning. I also like to experiment with the ways that or different ways to incorporate the language of ASL and of culture into the process of actually making a piece, like ASL actions in painting, dipping my hands in the paint and then signing, and how the paint casts off my fingers and lands on the canvas, and each layer is a different word in ASL. My language was part of that process, so it captures the life and energy and spirit of a very visual, active language. This will be an artist installation here at the Anderson Center. It's my first solo show. The title is Way, Deaf Way, All the Way. And the inspiration behind the show is Charles Thompson Memorial Hall. Thompson Hall is in St. Paul. It's the oldest deaf club in the world. So in 1916, Thompson Hall was established and it's a beautiful historical building. It's on the Register of Historical Places. It's where my mother and father first met and started dating. My mother and father are deaf. My brother is hearing, so we're a mixed family, so to speak. For me, it's just a really strong connection to Thompson Hall. So this background is really just offering a color similar to the iris of an eye. And then this sculptural piece that's made out of steel sewing machine legs that I put together, I want to superimpose it on the mural. And in the end, it will look like the iris of an eye. Because we are deaf, we are people of the eye, or eye people. This is a screw art painting. It's three pieces. I wanted to make something that's non-traditional materials and also becomes tactile, that you can touch it. So it's both visual and tactile. That was my motivation for this. They're Phillips screws and it's really hard. It's a lot of work. <laughs> And the three paintings together use about 10,000 screws. So it was a very long process. It took about six months altogether for the three of them. So once the screws were in and felt right, then I painted them. Each one got painted one at a time. So it required a lot of patience, but it was successful, I think and it's very popular for people who don't see and also people who do see. They're starved for actually being able to touch art. It 
she makes work in a variety of different media, mostly visual art, uh, both sculptures and paintings. And my personal favorite of her ways of working is something I would call assemblage, where she's bringing together lots of different materials that have their own history and form and a whole backstory to them and reimagining them and giving them new life and new forms. I've always been fascinated with the buildings and tools and the materials of those things and the creativity and the quality of old things and beautiful design. And I'm talking about like engine parts, printing presses, all of these things from a long time ago, from the 1800s, early 1900s. I get materials, uh, members of the deaf community, especially elders, tend to bring me things. I find things when I'm out walking sometimes. I dive into dumpsters. I never know what it is I'm looking for until I see it. And then when I see it, I know. I enjoy the hunt as much as I enjoy the making things with them. The opportunity to visually communicate with anyone through art was a fascination for me. I grew up hard of hearing and I had progressive hearing loss. So I, by the time I was 13, I was deaf. My mother and father are deaf. So it was pretty normal to be deaf in my family, but out in the world with hearing people, it's exhausting. And art really gave me a new life, new energy, motivation. There are no limits with art. I can be creative, I can prob problem solve. All the things that I'm interested in are there in the art.